Hi, welcome back. So today I'd like to do a comparison between the Notion free plan and then also the plus plan. So along the ways, a lot of things have changed. So I used to do a videos on how we can actually use the free plan for multiple team members. And then it still holds true for now, but there are a lot of features being added to Notion, which some of the things is not really that useful. Some of the things can be very helpful that is only available in the free on the plus plan. So here we're on the Notion website. So they tell you a few things and then maybe some things that is not actually being shown as well. So before we dive into what's the main differences, I'm going to just quickly have a refresher on what is available in the free plan and what's available. In the so as I zoom in here, we can look at the free plan on the side on the left. So here Notion mentions that you can have a collaborative workspace, which basically means that you can actually share with people and then uh, work together and then integrate with Slack, GitHub and more. So I have checked this integration is free and then basic page analytics so you can kind of see who has access to your pages and then seven day page history so we can restore back to seven days so this one i think there's some inconsistency during my testing so what i found is that you can actually go up to 30 days so that could be just applied to their database so notion database and then you can invite up to 10 guests so this is still remain consistent essentially what this means is that you can actually invite up to 10 free notion users to kind of work together and collaborate so this does not include like if you want to share your Notion page as a public page, right? So you're kind of going to share the link and then as a public. So when the user don't have to log in, there's unlimited. So you can share as much as possible. Like they can have as many as possible people to kind of log into that and not log in to access it. And when it comes to plus plan, so Notion mentioned here is that you can have unlimited block for teams. So this is not really true in a sense. So the blocks, if you're, if you're quite new to Notion or you're not familiar with the terminology, so blocks basically means like everything that you kind of create uh, in Notion. So your tags, your database, your dashboard. So all of them, if my mom's mistaken, they consider as each blocks. But by default, it's actually free in Notion. So as long as you don't create a team space or workspace members, which there's a video I'll explain, I'll put in the description below. Like in case you have this problem where you're using a free plan, it's blocking you from having the unlimited uh, blocks. And then unlimited file uploads. So by default, the last time I checked, I remember it's 5, 15, 5 or 15, I think it's 5. So 5 mega, megabytes uh, for file uploads and then for Notion when you're using the plus plan, so there's no limits. So the caveat is that a lot of people sometimes ask, like, can I use Notion for a Google Drive or OneDrive replacement? So the answer is you can, but it's a bit slow. So the upload split is definitely not the best. And then I've tried the limit, it's probably up to around 2 gigabyte. So, and then it sometimes it just randomly crash. So anything that's more than, I would say like 100 MB, like I would usually wouldn't recommend using Notion as a file storage. 30, page, 30 day page history. So you can kind of restore back to the past 30 days in white up to 100 guests. So this is in line with here. So you can invite 10. So in the plus plan, you can invite up to 100 people to kind of collaborate together. And then next one is sync database with third party apps. So this one, I'll go a bit more in depth, in depth later, like kind of what the difference is. So the, essentially what it means is that you can kind of sync it with other sources. So I see most of you will be using this. And then next is custom websites. So by default notion, you can uh, share websites or share the page, which you can kind of act as a website as well. But in the plus plan, you can actually share more. So I'll cover that as well. Custom automations, charge and dashboard, which I will go through more in depth. So what's the difference between free and what's the difference between plus uh, when it comes to these core features that you might want to use. All right, so let's jump into Notion. All right, so now we're in Notion. So this is my free Notion uh, account. So basically I have some talking points and lists just gonna go through and kind of show you what's the differences. So first of all, custom domains. So this is a quite a fairly new feature, I think released like mid of last year. So essentially when you wanna share your page, right? You can actually select publish. So publish this. So if you're using a paid Notion, what you can actually do is that you can select your custom domains here. So you can see get multiple domains and then you can actually have a custom, we call it slugs. So which kind of change the name. So we're in the paint ocean now. So I'm going to show you now when I click share, publish, publish to web. So you can see I can actually select uh, custom domains here. So digital-cookie.notion.site, so www.digital-cookie.com. So I actually have two. So this is actually a free domain once I have the plus plan. And then this is actually my custom domains that I have to actually pay extra $10 to kind of use this. So this is one of the main features. You can add as many, uh, I guess like a custom, not custom, like a Notion domains that you want. So Notion actually allows you to do that. So if I can just click manage all domains, right? 
you can actually see you can create new domains and then select like notion domain or custom domains so the difference is just that if you use notion domain you have to have this dot notion dot site so you want to create like a simple page or business page just to get things started so you definitely can use this once you have the notion plus plan for you so that's one thing and the second one is that you can just change the slugs so sometimes i do this as well just to keep it a bit more simple when it comes to the website right for example i just change it to tutorial uh, for notion so i can save it so digital dash cookie dot notion dot site slash tutorial dot dash notion so when i share this thing to people it would be just easier and then it's just easier for them to find or even just easier for them to type so that's the main difference other than that actually everything is just the same uh, i'm gonna go back to the uh, free plan right now so we're in the free plan so you can see we have the customizations okay even customizations is we have to kind of do you cannot you cannot stay to <laughs> so next up is the customization so you cannot change the lighting so you only have to be state of light i believe we cannot remove the notion icon as well you cannot have your personal icons here you can use the notion uh provide icons and then headers i think you cannot remove the watermark you cannot duplicate as templates uh search so there are some limitations when it comes to uh, customizing it as well but to be honest though i think if you're just getting started this is basically you don't need too much of a customizations and this is more than enough and you can do pk as a templates link expiration so the rest is the same so that's the main difference i'm gonna publish this for now yeah so first one is the custom domains and then second is custom emoji so this one is i think notion released a new feature so probably most of you are aware of it so you can upload your own emojis here yeah? no not here it's here emoji and then go to plus this is where you can upload it so this is free for everyone next is ai connect connectors so i haven't personally tried these features myself so notion recently like introduced this connector kind of things connections and then there's this thing called workspace i'm not sure yeah this one so they have this ai connectors with slacks google drive and github so i think the idea is that you can access your google drive for example and then use you can set a type of prompts and then get the data information from google docs or google sheets or google slides so i wouldn't try this personally but in here i remember it mentions that this is only for the plus plan so yeah this is another thing and otherwise import data so if you want to import data export data so i tested that this is actually for everyone so regardless of your free plan your paid plan so you want to import your excel data pdf data so this can be done next is button automation so this one is uh some of you probably have used if you're using free plan you probably have not used this that often so for buttons so this is kind of how you create it so slash button so when you first create buttons right so you can like click submit so you can do automations through this so the limitations for free plan is you can only actually or you can't send email you cannot send webhook so but the rest is intentionally still doing like manipulations within a database for example once you click this button you want to make sure you to update your status as done for example so you can do still do that and then they also do allow you to send slack messages uh, notification in this case so the main thing is you can't send email and you, know, you cannot send webhook so if you're a developer you know what webhook is if not you can ignore this part so this is for button we're going to delete this and the next one is database automations so this is the one that is a bit more uh some of the features potentially quite useful that you will be interested in so i'm going to create a database here so i'm going to just do it here I'm just going to enter a bit space so if you're quite new to database notion automation so for databases you can have this like a lightning zap kind of thing here so you click and click create and view automations just click it and then new trigger so for the free plan you can have any property edited or page added so or any selected like values change so the idea is that anything that is changed or new page added in your database it will trigger this automation so the one main difference here is that you cannot have this new feature here so this i think it's quite new right i think a few months back so this is actually a scheduling feature so you can actually schedule your automations to trigger on a monthly basis or weekly basis so i'm going to show you now in the past plus plan so now that we're in the plus plan i'm going to just show you the database again so we're going to create automations you can see we can actually create this frequency so day weeks day weeks so you can actually select the frequency and how what you want to create uh, so this is one of the trigger functions so if you don't have the plus plan you can't do this 
so back to here uh, this is the free plan so you do so same thing for do I guess it's even more limited uh, when it comes to functionality so send Slack notifications that's the only thing you can do you can't actually edit properties edit page add page send them notifications so you can do this with the button that we talk about but inside database is much stronger because you can actually directly target specific uh, tags or pages so this is actually like if you're really into notion automations so this is something that will be missing like when it comes to the free plan all right so next one we have is the form so form is is fairly new feature so luckily it's actually most of the features are here so if you want to create a form click it, create a form right so if you're new I'm just gonna go through one more time so you can just click this plus button and then select the form so sometimes you might not see the form probably because you're using a link database so if you are a bit more at once you might be using something called link database so if you're gonna do this we're gonna click here right so you won't see a form because form only works when it's in the original database so what you have to do is just open the full page and select this and then you still can't see it I think this is because it's still a link database yeah it's probably a bit too at once for sidetrack for this but if I go to here you can see this is the original one yeah just to a uh, little tips for anyone that is struggling with that so I want to create a new form here just create a form so I can give a form title I'm gonna just form and then by default I kind of check through it so it has most of the features available you can create a form you can submit you can share the form but the main difference is just you cannot customize your form so right now it's actually not a lot of customizations basically you kind of change the colors of the submit button you can change the text you can have a title body and then when you share the form so if I'm gonna share who can fill out I can share to anyone as well so another difference is just that you cannot remove the notion branding uh, I think that's roughly it so for from is actually fairly generous you can just use it like as usual like most of most of the use cases it shouldn't be a problem for you all right next one we has a chart so I think this one I actually wasn't aware of it but some of you probably have used notion uh, the free plan so you know so you can only have one chart per account so let's say I have this database I create one chart right so if I'm gonna create another database and I'm gonna create a new chart so that's not possible or even just I'm gonna create a chart directly so we actually give, get this error here so your workspace has already used this one fee chart so unlimited upgrade to get unlimited charts so this is not possible so only uh, plus plan can have unlimited charts and then version history so I tested this earlier I'm not too sure because like in in notions website they say that it's 15 uh, I think nine, seven days only right so what I tested is that I go to this page here right on the right side here so we have this uh, version history so I can see that okay maybe it's kind of locked here hmm. yeah maybe it's true then you can only have up to seven days so I'm gonna just do this as seven days and then for plus plan is 30 days so that's it and then for notion AI so it's free for both it's not free I mean like it's limited try I think 20 entries for both uh, free plan plus plan there's no like special privilege for any other plans so after that you have to pay for it so I think an extra of $10 if you have student account I think it's five and now I think they run some promotion sometimes you get like a five dollar as well and then for page analytics uh, so this is basically you kind of if you share your page as like a uh, like a public page right like a website so you can actually kind of see the analytics here as well so update and analytics and I think they changed the wording here so you can see like who actually entered your analytics so I don't really see what's the main difference between a free and plus plans uh, yeah so basically you can kind of see here and then publish page so all basic features no slash or comment so this is the one I mentioned about the custom domains and then trash policy is the same so if you accident you want to remove something actually accidentally you want to restore it so in the trash so you can restore it within the 30 days so I think this is the same uh, aligns with the plus and free plans so yeah that's it uh, so let me know what's your thoughts uh, between the plus and free plans so for me personally I think that is still very usable when it comes to free plans and if you find that you are more interested in having more advanced features like automations or charts then definitely that's probably your key to kind of upgrade other than that so another workaround for at least for charts and I'm not sure about automation I think it might work is that you can have someone create it for you and then you can go then they will share as you as a guest and then you should still be able to use it so the charts definitely so you have someone create a page for you right the database and then they share access to you as a guest so you can create unlimited charts so if you have friends that are willing to do that for you then definitely there's another way to work around it so yeah thank you for uh, the video watching the video today and i hope you have a nice day